Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Looking at ball flight today and specifically fading it. A couple different ways to fade it. Wanted to talk through them with you today. So we have, if I'm set in there, so you'll see some guys when they're hitting the fade, they'll sort of set up a little open, face will be a little shut and they'll, they'll move the path left of that face. It's sort of almost looking like it's pull fading. So it's gonna actually start left, really move back to the target. You'll see some other players actually have their baseline pretty far open. It almost still looks like they're hitting a draw, so the club's still dropping, and then they're sort of holding it off as they come through. That would be more of a push fade. It's based more on the start line and, to me, the movement of the club and where the face is. So push fade, it's not obviously a functional push fade. We're going to aim far enough light to the left for a righty. So as I push it, I'm still pushing it towards the target. Obviously, if I set relatively square and I hit a push fade, out to the right and then cutting, that's not a functional shot, right? So for, for me on this one, I'm looking probably like 30 yards left-ish for the push fade. So I'm pretty open. I'm playing the ball just a little back in my stance. For me, For even though it's a fade, I'm going to play a little bit back to make sure I can keep that face from shutting and sort of drive it out to, to the target. So think of like a Lee Trevino, Fred Couples kind of look. So I got my stance pretty open here. I'm letting the club still drop and then I'm turning through to, to uh, make sure I keep that face relatively open to where I'm swinging here. So that was pretty good. It, uh, not my normal type of shot, but actually finished right on the target. I might have to make that more normal. So that path, even though it, so that path was three to the left, face was relatively square, ended up finishing pretty close to the target. Even though I set my feet pretty open, I let it drop back in. And since my stance line was so open, even though I'm still letting it, the club fall, my pass enough left relative to the target to get it to fade into the target, okay? So that would be number one. Uh, pretty happy with that one, actually. I might have to use that one a little bit more. So second one is going to be more of a pull fade. So this one, I'm still going to set a bit open. The ball position for a pull fade for me, I'm going to play it a little more forward. Face is going to be square to a little shot. And then as I'm coming through, it's going to be a little bit more of this type of motion where I'm letting my chest and everything pivot a little bit harder that way versus this one, I was sort of letting it drop and then opening up, I felt a little more lower body. This one is going to be almost lower and upper to make sure I can uh, get the path enough left to get it to make sure it fades back. So I'm going to open my stance a little. I'm going to flare my front foot just a touch too to help my pivot. Uh, face is just close to the target, ball's a little forward. And then again from here, I'm really going to make sure I move around it, keep the pivot going. That one started down the left side. It's sort of hanging there. Not the worst shot, especially when you're trying to fade one into, say it's a back right pin. That one probably would have just hit in the middle of the green and not faded into the pin. What you want definitely on the fades. Let's see if I got it here. So that's a five left path with a five shut face. So it started left, sort of stayed on that left side. So I'll try one more, see if I can minimize the face a little bit, but still happy with it overall. Set there, open the stance, ball's a little forward, face a little shut, and then just making sure I keep that pivot going through uh, impact. Uh, that one is the one I want. Finish right on the target. Uh, th round three left path face right around zero. So that's starting on the target. There might be a little wind up there just sort of holding that ball flight uh, from drop going to the right of the target. Visually, it looked perfect to me. So I'm happy with that. Uh, use those. There's not one right way to do it. Again, if I'm set in there, the push fade, I'm going to be really quite a bit open to the target. Club's still gonna drop under and then I'm gonna turn through 
more of the pull fade, I'd say still open to the target face, a little more feeling shut for me. And then I'm just gonna keep my pivot going to make sure that ball starts uh, close to the left side for righty of the target and then works back in. So a couple different ways to do it, experiment a little bit, play around with that stance line, play, play around a bit with that foot flare and foot position to see which way is the easiest for you to, to move through it to get that ball moving into the target, whether it's a, you're feeling like you're hitting more of a inside push fade or a little bit more on top pull fade. Uh, use those and have some fun out there on the range next time you're there. Thanks for watching.